Ken Milafalta, everyone, welcome back. I am happy to report that on this Saturday, happy Saturday, by the way, it is a much better feeling day. There has been such an emotional rigmarole over the last couple of days. So I am excited to say that it is finally feeling a lot better. The new ducks, the three new ducks, Phoenix with Searsha and then Luna and Jemima in the other coop are seemingly coming along very nicely despite everything. I'll keep you updated on, on it all. Right now, I am on my way to the hairdresser. I need to get my hair cut. The ends are looking rather frazzled um, they definitely need a freshen up and tomorrow is mother's day so i thought that i would time my hair my next hair appointment with actually i usually do this where i can i try to time my hair appointments with events so in this scenario i have timed it with mother's day and coincidentally i have also is that an eagle i think an eagle just jesus that's very close Anyway, I'm only panicking because I have ducks and I really don't need them coming close to the duck pen. Ooh. Anyway, um, coincidentally, I have also been invited by this photographer to do a photo shoot with her, a vintage style photo shoot. She's noticed that I have a liking for more vintage aesthetics and she wondered if I would be interested in having a vintage themed photo shoot. So conveniently, my hair then will be done in time for that tomorrow as well. So that'll be really nice. I'm excited for, for that. However, it may be postponed because we have had a week's worth of rain and it's looking like tomorrow is going to be the heaviest of it all. So it may end up being postponed. I'll keep you all updated nonetheless but right now I'm on my way to get my hair done it is looking exceptionally frazzled at the moment because I have brushed it in time for the hairdresser to get it nice and not free but I shall show you what it looks like when I am done of course I brought my book with me before I completely lose the lighting, this is how my hair turned out. I have officially gotten rid of those little ginger ends that were left from an ombre I attempted to do in my hair about maybe a year, a year and a half ago. This is officially back to my, my natural hair color, which as you can see is brown. It's not black as I was dyeing it for years. And this lighting doesn't really show it. Maybe when I get ready for Mother's Day tomorrow, I'll show you. Um, but my natural hair has a lot of natural highlights. So I have finally got it back to its natural state. But I'll show you properly tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have forgotten to do this today, which means the lighting is dreadful. But Granny, in her usual lovely bluey denim vibe, is happening today, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity to film it. We've got a nice knitted jumper with some blue accessories and a matching, <laughs> a matching blue hair clip, of course. How would we not have a hair clip in every color to match every outfit? Brilliant! <laughs> I'm not sure how much the camera is able to pick this up, but there is the faintest pink hue in the background which is i believe remnants of the aurora borealis that's visible in australia at the moment so that's very exciting i've always wanted to see that as i know many people out there do but this is apparently as good as i'm going to get quote unquote for the time being happy mother's day granny and look who's wearing their mother's day present looking nice and blue matching your flowers in the back a little bit with the soft um, pastel tones very nice we've got what show us lift up your pants granny show us your shoes a little bit better look at this she <laughs> look how nice and sparkly they are i love it all right, it matches your top in the middle, very good. And Granny is wearing, so this is her Mother's Day present from me, the outfit, but on her neck, <clears throat> and I believe her earrings as well, she's yeah. wearing a set from her children. So what is it, Granny? You've got, oh, and from Grandad, yeah. oh, lovely. So you got a fresh set of yeah. pearls. The, the, and the earrings. Very nice, show us the, the matching earrings. Lovely, and of course, we've got a white scrunchie at the back. Very nice, Granny. All right, now for me to get dressed matching. Yeah. 
that is my dad you can see in the background i am ready for mother's day i have just filmed a video for granny and i to get ready and now the car you could probably hear is turning on why am i always in a rush i swear i get up early anyway this is the look granny and i uh have made a whole get ready with me and i will post that soon probably tonight if i can edit it in time and I hope you like it. It's not anything new. You guys have seen this outfit before, but I've decided to pair it with a undertop and some sandals, this uh, flats, sorry, this time, which I haven't done before. And I'm wearing the necklaces that my father has bought me in the past. This was for my birthday previously, last birthday. And this is a Christmas present from, I think, two Christmases ago now. Anyway, that is the look. We have arrived, Granny and I are heading in and everyone else is behind us, substantially behind us. Open your presents! Do you know what it is? It's a blanket. No, it's a Pokemon towel. She's being hard on me. Are you tormenting my Granny? Yes. You are. <laughs> what? You can't decide whether to get a schnitzel or a ham and pineapple pizza, is it? I'm waiting for her to decide. Well, I believe that's because you told me earlier, happy wife, happy what? Uh, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Did you hear that, Granny? Gr he, granddad's confessing happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Merciful Jesus, would you look at the size of my lunch? I ordered a grilled chicken and it has broccolini and chopped potatoes underneath and it's like a mountain. Cool. Happy Mother's Day with my water. <laughs> And Grandad got the same thing as myself and Granny got a cheeseburger and chips. Good afternoon. We are back home. Lunch is all done. Update. The photo shoot is cancelled. I think I alluded to the fact that it could potentially be cancelled because of all the rain that we've had. Unusual, but however, Australia does have its random periods of peak rain. So it means I now have the rest of the day to just chill. So I'm going to probably put my comfies on, even though this is rather comfy. I just feel like having something more comfortable. Um, wash this makeup off. I went and put all this effort doing my makeup extra nice. Don't get me wrong, it still look good for Mother's Day, but I have had done it to this extent for this photo shoot excuse me for this photo shoot um, and my hair I told you guys I timed my hair appointment in particular um, to suit the shoot however it is not to happen that is okay <laughs> I'm trying not to be a negative Nancy over the most ridiculous things so I am oh I wanted to show you something I am not complaining though because like I mentioned it means I can have a relaxing day um, and the photo shoot will be rescheduled for, I believe, a month's time. So stay tuned. Hopefully I will have something to show you guys then. I picked up a new bedspread. So if you remember a couple of vlogs ago when I was changing my bed sheets, not the last time, but the time before that, the pink bedspread, when I shook it, if you remember, all the inside of the padding just went everywhere. Well, I decided when I undid the bed that I then needed to throw it out, that I couldn't rescue it. So it was time anyway, because I have lost a bed sheet earlier in um, last year that I never replaced. So I needed a new bedspread, which of course it's green, which resulted in me getting this, I think about two days ago. I forgot to show you guys. And it's really nice and it's got this nice stitch work on it. So next month when I do my new sheets, I will show you guys what this looks like on the bed. Also, I have, don't mind me dropping it on the floor. I have, I have a delivery that I've come home to while I was out at Mother's Day lunch. So, ta-da! I have been wanting these for a while. They've taken ages to arrive. I ordered these from America and they are basically really well designed when I can show you duck balls, duck feeders. Hang on. If you notice, the ones that we currently have are not suitable, but these definitely are oh there's the little clips so these will clip on to the side of a wall and they'll just kind of lean like this a little bit be full of food for them that they can just nibble at peck at during the day and they're a gorgeous brown color it's nothing like stark that would stand out and look horrible i was hoping to have gotten these sooner but it was not to be and having flat bowls like what you would feed a cat or a dog just doesn't work for a duck they step oops my hair is torn they 
step all over it, which means that their food then goes flying everywhere. So I'm very happy these came. So that now leaves the rest of my Sunday to chill out. I feel like maybe reading for a little bit before I then probably binge watch Downton Abbey. Morsa has been watching some of it with me when he's here. So we are just started season four. I was going to say at the end of season three. No, we just started season four. So I love it. He kind of likes it, which is really exciting. Um, and so I think today I'll probably just spend the rest of the day indulging myself in that. <laughs> Looks like someone has a different idea of relaxing. It's so silent. Oh my God. Hello. Hi, Jemima. Hi, Luna. Oh, my loves. I wish you weren't as scared as you are. There we have it. This is my comfies. I'm wearing, I feel like normally I would wear black trackies because yes, if I haven't admitted it before, I'll admit it now. Even at home, I like to match with what I'm wearing. I definitely am my grandmother's daughter in that regard. Uh, granddaughter, I should say. Oh, anyway, um, so yeah, very nice and comfortable. It's as matching as I can get it with a pop of color. And I haven't taken my makeup off yet, but I'll probably just get a little bit more wear out of it for the day. Didn't go through all that effort for nothing. Um, and then I'll give myself a fierce wash and yeah. I probably won't see you guys, at least not much anyway, until tomorrow. Let's trial your new food bowl. Sirsha's so confused. She's like, what? Come on. Phoenix Come on. doesn't care. Yeah, because he's new to his problem. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's so confused. She doesn't trust it. Sirsha. Come on, you can do it. She can learn. Come on, my it's love. You'll be fine. Yeah, Oh, Baba, you precious princess. <laughs> Phoenix, you little savage. He's like, I've seen this before. <laughs> and now there's two. Musa has just installed both of them. And so now they can have one for their water as well. Yay! Come on, guys. Come on, keep trying. Keep trying if you want. <laughs> Oh, Sirsha. The trouble is we need to put a, a roof over these because birds will come down and just eat. Yeah, good boy, Phoenix. Yay! <laughs> She's still so, so cautious. I love it. Look at this. They're so happy. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Let's start the vlog today with Granny's lovely outfit. She's wearing a new top that we got for her online the other week. She has been desperately wanting to get a shirt with long collars like this. So she finally has one and she's paired it with that vest that she bought when I also bought my green vest when I went shopping with my cousin, some of you might remember. And she's got a nice pair of, is it cream, Granny? Cream colored pants, is that what we're gonna say? Pinky cream Ooh, almost. Beige. Yeah, and your nice beigey brown shoes matching and your jewelry. Oh, lovely, all these nice pearls. Of course, the scrunchie is matching as well in the tones. Very nice, Granny. I like this look, especially the vest. The vest is my favorite thing. I keep forgetting to show you all, but look at this beautiful bouquet that my uncle gave his mum, my grandmother, about three days ago. He came and dropped it off on the Friday. Um, and Mother's Day was, no, Saturday, Saturday, sorry, I think. Two days ago and mother's day was yesterday so he dropped it off i think about two days earlier which is very nice and this is probably one of the nicest bouquets i think she's ever been given i just i think i'm being biased though because it's got these soft pink pastel colors that i love happy tuesday everyone i've just gone to film what i'm wearing today which is literally the same thing oh my gosh don't mind the socks in my shoes i changed the shoes from yesterday and um i put my work flats but they still haven't been broken in properly so i've got socks on to try and break them in anyway and as i've gone to show you that first thing i've realized is my hair actually looks shorter and it's straight so it shouldn't look shorter because it should look longer but clearly i got more taken off in uh, my haircut at the weekend than i had anticipated anyway 
moving on. Um, it is quite cold outside, so I think actually I'm going to change my outfit. <laughs> anyway, it's I'll keep my my undertop on because it's long sleeves, and I think I definitely think I need to put something warmer on. Okay, I have changed. I have changed, and if this outfit isn't an indication to you as to how cold I feel. I don't know what is. I'll wear that outfit tomorrow instead because I've only worn it once this week for Mother's Day and I would like to wear my outfits twice. So anyway, I changed the pants and put my blue jeans on and this bluey green cardigan, which is very warm, but I don't wear it a lot because it's one of those cardigans that feels like a pet where basically you wear it and then there are hairs left all over you. However, we'll see what happens. I am wearing it with my new black gumboots that I bought the other day, although I'm not vibing with it because of my socks. Kind of feel like this is not a look. Maybe I should fix the socks. I don't know. Is it that bad? It is a bit bad. It is a bit bad. Anyway, I'm wearing gold, which is the same. I didn't change my accessories. These are the same accessories as what I was wearing with my previous outfit. Yeah, I think I'm going to fix the socks. It doesn't really work if I lower the socks a little bit because because then the jeans start to pop out. I remember now why, why I do it like this. Anyway, this is my outfit for today. It doesn't look like anything too timeless or too um, professional for work, I appreciate, but it is very cold and I am always also, sorry, in the middle of work and I don't want to take too much time out of that for an outfit. Anyway, this is the look for Monday. <laughs> Good morning, quackers. Good morning, everyone. Would you look at that? Here's a sight that I haven't shared with you all for a while, and it's because I haven't been going for my morning walks for a while. I, I found a place where I could put you so I could talk here. I am about to go for my first morning walk after two weeks. And I'm very excited because one, I love my morning walks. I know a lot of people are going to say that they hate that sort of thing. Um, and I totally understand. Like for example, my partner Musa hates walking. Um, he would rather, in terms of exercise, he would rather lift weights. For example, um, one of my friends is a massive gym junkie and she, her name is Sarah, she um, detests walking as well. Anyway, uh, I digress. I am finally going for my first morning walk after two weeks because I, some of you will remember in a few vlogs ago, I was at the doctor with that upper thigh pain and the doctor was concerned that I might have had um, arthritis. Thank the Lord it is not. I went and did all the necessary tests. It all came back that I was perfectly fine. And therefore the subsequent result is that it must be some sort of muscle related issue. So I am questioning, I mentioned this before, that I've done something to myself in the past with my poor stretching. Um, I used to stretch every single morning for a while and then this started. And I think the type of stretching I was doing was too, um, too, too much, long, the long and short of it, too much for, for my legs um, first thing in the morning before I'd even been using them and, you know, warming, excuse me, warming them up. However, I'm hoping that when I go for my morning walk though, that it is, the pain is not going to come back because the doctor asked me for the, the two weeks after that to not do anything. I was to go on some painkillers and to see if for those two weeks that I, if I was okay, to which I have been. I am very happy to report that the pain went away. So now I'm very anxious because I am I'm worried that one of the only forms of exercise that I do, which is my, my morning walks, um, is going to be a problem. But hopefully that just means I need to stretch, but properly now. So we shall see. But in other news, my face. I'm really not sure, hang on, I come in better lighting. I'm not sure if it's just me being hopeful. I see the scarring, so please ignore that for a second. But that's what it is. It's just scarring at the moment. I have no acne at the moment. Like, I know it looks like I do. Like I said, it's just scarring. But, oh my gosh, my face is finally getting better. I was standing here going for a morning walk about two months ago now, when I mentioned to you guys that I was going to start cutting out the ultra processed foods completely. Um, so I was still having things like ice cream or chocolate that didn't have vegetable oil in them. Now I've cut them out completely. And lo and behold, slowly but surely, I have 
had an improvement in my skin. Anyway, time to go for my morning walk. I can hear Sirisha in the background quacking. Um, and now I'm going to do my, my gratitude practice. I think I've mentioned to you guys um, a long time ago that when I do my morning walk, I also do my gratitude count where I go through, you know, about 10 things that I'm grateful for. It just sets my mood for the day and it makes me feel so good. Um, and then, yeah, then I'm going to watch one of my own uh, vloggers that I enjoy watching. Um, ironic, I know. And then get on with the day. Just picked up a package I probably should have ordered years ago. Quick update. I haven't shown you anything at home yet. Not what I'm wearing, not what my grandmother is wearing, but my grandparents invited me out for lunch. And aside from saying yes to that, but I also needed to go to the post office to pick what you just saw, uh, a package up, which is a Wi-Fi modem. I have been a content creator for four years now, I think in April it was four years. And I have done that, my co uh, uh, content creation for those four years entirely off of 4G. I have never had access to Wi-Fi in my home for that entire time. Um, so I think I've come to a point, especially because of my YouTube videos where they take, and I'm not, not even exaggerating, hours to upload, um, where I can't do it without Wi-Fi anymore. So. I um, will hopefully be getting that installed tomorrow if they um, if they come. I know sometimes these things end up happening where they don't. But I've picked up the, the modem, so hopefully tomorrow I will have a Wi-Fi update for you. There's Granny and there's Grandad. I don't think Grandad's noticed yet. <laughs> Time for lunch. Shocker, I got English breakfast tea. Granny got a flat white and Grandad got some orange juice fresh from the uh, oranges no from the bottle <laughs> i oh here granny i'll go get more All right, Granny got her beloved pancakes. Granddad and I both got a ham and cheese toasty that he tried to convince the waiter were both for me. Oh, <laughs> so much so that she then brought this there. out and said that it was Granddad's. <laughs> And that is us back home. So I can now show you what I'm wearing and I love my outfit for today. First of all, we've got a little bit of a, a turquoise vibe happening with my earrings today. These are like almost paper light. They are so light that they don't feel like anything. <gasps> Jesus, Sirsha. They don't feel like anything. Um, so that's great. I don't like wearing big earrings if it means that they are super heavy. So that matches my cardigan, which is from yesterday's outfit, but I didn't I didn't really vibe with how I how I paired that all together yesterday. So the jeans and top have gone to the wash, and instead today I am wearing sorry, today I am wearing that um oh no, I haven't told you. I'm wearing a black turtleneck, which I will link in the description box down below. I only got this yesterday. It arrived in the mail and it is super light. It's although warm, it's not a really heavy material, which means for something that's uh, a turtleneck can be quite uncomfortable. But this actually feels so nice and soft and breathable, and I can work in it easily without feeling irritated. Um, paired it with my white mum jeans that I have in a gazillion different colours with my new gum boots, my, my um, easy to wear between the duck pen and work boots and some gold accessories today and that is the look, I've got my hair, I had it in a half up half down look but a lot of the hair keep, kept coming forward whenever I was doing any work and you guys know me, I hate hair on my face. So I have tied it half up and then back into a ponytail, which I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if you can get a good look like that, but I like the way that it looks. Now I need to show you what my grandmother is wearing for the day and then I am going to head off to work. That's why I'm in the shade. I know, sorry. Hey, granddad, where are you going? Oh, for what? Don't you want to show everyone your outfit as well? Oh. No. <laughs> You don't, I'm only being silly, you don't have to. But sure, you two are matching, which is nice. Yeah. This is Granny and Grandad's outfit for the day. They're both sporting somewhat of a blue and denim vibe today with hints of white. Very nice. All right, Granny, talk us about your outfit. Talk to us about your outfit because that's what everyone really cares about. Grandad, <laughs> would you leave Granny alone? She's a navy turtleneck 
under mm. a nice blue and uh, no navy and white checkered colored yes. shirt with a navy gilet some navy jeans white sneakers and white jewelry let's look so the other day on mother's day you guys saw her wearing that purpley pearly um necklace set this well, is this, the white one this is the white one. Oh, yep and we've got a scrunchie that is almost identical to your shirt brilliant i don't know how she does it oh. <laughs> very nice granny when she's done Okay, uh, very nice to you too, Grandad. Don't worry, your outfit is lovely as well. All right, thank you. Enjoy your walk. Bye. <laughs> I'm sure you could tell from the weather outside, it looked very sunny and it is very sunny today. So this cardigan, well, yesterday I underdressed for the weather and now today I've overdressed for the weather. Look at me, it is 22 degrees outside. Aren't we just blessed in Australia when it comes to the cooler months? Because this is honestly a summer's day in Ireland and a rarity at that. Anyway, um, I, so I need to take my cardigan off because I'm just too, too warmly dressed. But I, I just wanted to share something with you all. I actually, I'll probably sit on the chair closer. I um, saw a comment on my Instagram, no, on my Facebook page, um, maybe an hour ago when I was at, I look at me, look at this, look at all these little baby hairs. I need to get like some sort of balm or something. I've seen some people use because gel is horrible. It just crisps up your hair in a way I don't like. Anyway, I, I love to digress. Anyway, um, this lady left a comment on my Facebook page post uh from mother's day the get ready with me with uh, my grandmother and i where we wore a matching outfit and i uh, it, it kind of got me in my feels really she commented and she goes you know this video reminds me of my grandmother and and how much i i miss her um if i can go back and find the comment actually i'll screenshot it and i'll, I'll put it here if i can't find it then i can't find it but and it basically got me thinking and I, I, I replied to her and I said to her, do you know that is my biggest fear in the whole world is the day where I miss my grandparents. I, I, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm very close with my grandparents. They mean the absolute world to me. They are my best friends. They are my first best friends. Um, now my partner is arguably my best friend more than anything, but my grandparents are my first best friends. They're the ones that have been with me through everything since I ran away from home. And my father too, make no mistake, my father too. But initially I lived with my, I still live, but I lived with just my grandparents and I um, in, in the house for years, in those first few healing years. And then for anyone that doesn't know, because I wasn't vlogging my life at the time, uh, my father's second partner, so not my mum, but my sister's mum, passed away, I think about two years after me moving in here. And eventually, or not really too long after that, he moved in with us. And so for those first couple of years, it was just my grandparents and I. So I bonded with them whilst I was healing in a way that I've never bonded with anyone. They are my whole world. And I just, it really, that comment made me stop and realize I fear nothing in this world more than reality. And with that reality is the potential of one day having to live a life without them. And without continuing, continuing this conversation anymore, because I don't want to cry, I just maybe thought I'd, I'd use that as a way to, to segue into a little reminder for you all that if you have anyone close to you in your life and it doesn't matter if they are older or, or younger because there are also many a many a moment in life that have taught me that age doesn't necessarily have anything to do with when when it's your time to leave this 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 world so just just take this as as your as your little reminder that you you should give that special someone in your life an extra an extra bit of love an extra little hug and kiss i've been through so much this year with my grandparents already and i just any little reminder just hits home so yeah sometimes i think it's nice to just get these little impromptu reminders that we should um give a little bit of extra love and attention to those that we we care about because unfortunately truth be told you just never know apologies if anybody watches these vlogs and they don't enjoy rants because 
I am half Irish, which means I have the gift of the gab and I talk a lot. So I think that was about four or five minutes of me just yapping on. However, I now need to get on with some work. I need to edit this because this video should be going up tonight. Uh, nobody mentioned, granted, these vlogs are quite small in their audience size, but nobody mentioned in my, I think it was a previous vlog or the vlog before that where I asked if anybody had a time preference and if nobody comments on this one either, that's fine. I'm just going to um, go with what I'm assuming. Nobody mentioned what time or day best suits you all um, or you in general, sorry, you all as if you can speak on behalf of everyone. What best suits you in terms of me uploading? Um, I know people have different schedules and so I just wanted to know, considering majority of my audience is not from Australia, so I can't post a according to what I would assume would be my, you know, standard approach in Australia. If anybody can let me know what time best suits them, um, especially seeing as the, the, like I said, this is, a, it's a small audience that watches these videos in comparison to um, most vloggers on YouTube, which is fine, but I want to therefore be able to cater to you guys, seeing as I'm going to be more, more able to do so in such circumstances. So if anybody has anything, please let me know. I was originally posting around 6 p.m. Australian time, Australian Eastern Standard Time, at 6 p.m. Uh, every Wednesday and Sunday, but I've realized that posting on a weekend is not a good idea. If I want to maintain um, the consistency in my um, approach to content creation as a, as a job, because that's what it has become, um, I need to be able to stick to just week days. Um, posting at the weekend, I suppose, can be something on occasion, but I really shouldn't make it a consistent thing. Anyway, so I have now changed, uh, as of last vlog, or, or two vlogs ago, rather, to every Tuesday and Friday at around 9pm. I might aim for maybe 8pm. Um, that way I can spend longer engaging with the comments um, before I clock off for the day. Uh, so I think my 9pm is around... 6 a.m. and 11 a.m. in uh, 6 a.m. roughly speaking in New York, Washington area, because majority of you here are from uh, America, and 11 a.m. in the UK, because yes, the UK is my second largest audience, um, and then after that I think it's Canada, uh, and then Ireland and then Australia. So I'm trying to be very considerate of time zones here. So like I said, I didn't need three minutes to ask if anybody wants to let me know um, what time would best work for them. Anyway, I'm going to leave this vlog here. I'm trying not to be so official with when I end my vlogs now and just kind of end them naturally and then just continue vlogging into the next one. But I do know that this video is ending here. So thank you so much for watching. It is time for me to get on with my work for the day. As soon as I finish editing this video, all of these folders are students' folders that need to be lesson planned for today. <laughs> so I am going to head off and do that now. And I shall see you all in my next vlog. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And until next time, much love and God bless.